Hi guys, today we're going to do a virtual walk around our fresh and stock Jaguar XF. It's the Sport Brake Edition and it's uh, finished in this gorgeous chorus grey. As you can tell, lovely paintwork. Looks lovely. Going down to the alloys, got the 17 inch multi spoke alloys, finished in silver. You've also got your Jaguar centre casings there as well, looking lovely. Going on to the front, got your Jaguars then on headlights with daytime running lights, really clear lights. And because it's the uh, Sport uh, Edition, the Prestige Edition, you've got the nice bumper and nice chrome finish on the grills and the uh, side bits as well. Right. Go to the side, you've got chrome side vents and Jaguar engraving on there too. You've got matching colour wing mirrors to the body colour, you've got your indicators on there and black housing. Nice chrome finish going on the outside of the windows. You've also got chrome roof bars as well. You've got black B pillars and rear privacy glass, so it breaks up the colour really nice. Going to the rear, you've got a really nice sport looking bumper. Um, you've also got your two exhausts down there with the blow. If you open up the boot, you can press the button on the boot and the boot will pop open on its own. Absolutely great boot space, really clean and nice. Fits under there, you've got a load space cover too. If we press the button, the boot will close. Simple and easy. Going into the rear of the car. You're working with your full leather upholstery. Really spacious and comfy. You've got rear fans for your climate control, which can be adjusted in the back. And you've also got a 12 volt there for charging or for whatever you need. Going into the driving seat. You've got electric rear backrests um, and you can also adjust the height with the uh, lever there. If we get into the car, it's wireless key entry, so stop, start button, front the brake, press the button. Car will turn on. You've got full leather steering wheel with the uh, controls on either side. So you've got your volume control, and your, you can change the channel on there and your hands free. Then on this side you've got your cruise control and limiter. You've also got flappy paddles as well if you want to change gear using the steering wheel, which is great. Going down, you've got your central locking buttons, fully electric automatic windows, the ability to lock the rear window with child lock. Then you've got your electric folding wing mirror there too. Going over to the media display, it's all touch screen. So if you uh, go onto your source, you've got DAB, FM and AM, which is really nice. You can also connect your phone through Bluetooth and USB. You have all your climate control settings as well, so you can choose where the fans come from. And you've also got your heated seats, which you can adjust really nicely. If we go back again, you have the capability to get uh, navigation. Uh, so if you order one online, you can just plug it in, and it's really cheap and easy. And then you've also got your hands-free settings as well. Going down, dual zone climate control, the nice digital display showing the temperature. You can also get your heated seat buttons there as well, so it's quick access. If we go down, you've got your different modes to put the car in, so you can put it in sport mode if you want to be a bit more responsive um, and have a bit of fun. Uh, you can put it in normal mode for just normal driving, or eco mode if you want to save a bit of fuel, and then winter mode as well. And you've got your traction control and automatic stop start. You've got your electric handbrake located here. Two drinks holders, you can slide this away if you want. If you open up the centre console, you've got some more storage space, the point to put your navigation card in if you want, USB, aux, and another 12 volt. So if you have any more questions about this car, please feel free to contact our sales team and potentially this could be your next new car. Cheers.